anyone who wishes to run away right now can do it though it will be a big shame to the battalion and to our ancestors but i as major kuldeep singh chandpuri am determined to stand and fight to the very end today i'm going to talk to you about the share of the punjab regiment major kuldeep singh chandpuri and the a company of the 23rd punjab regiment they created history in defending the lonjewala post against the pakistani army attack on the night of 4th of december 1971 This battle had created history and today I'm going to tell you how just 120 men had bashed the Pakistani army so badly. Lonjewala post is pretty close to the border with Pakistan. Back in the 1971 war, only D company of the 14th battalion of the BSF, the Border Security Force was deployed there. Lance Naik Bhairav Singh was deployed there at that time. When the clouds of war were looming, only A company under the command of Major Kuldeep Singh Chandpuri from the 23rd Punjab Regiment was sent there to hold the Lonjewala post and relieve the BSF guys. It was Lance Naik Bhairav Singh and some of his men who were tasked to stay there with Major Kuldeep Singh Chandpuri because these men were accustomed to the desert area. This is a pretty horrific terrain and the high command didn't expect an attack here. A company just had a section of medium machine guns, one L16 81mm mortar, artillery support from the 170 field regiment, a couple of PAT anti-tank weapons and just one 106mm recoilless rifle mounted on a jeep. Lance Knight Bhairav Singh had 10 camels and that was it. They were promised air support from the 122 squadron which was under the command of wing commander MS Bawa another legend A company had placed a lot of anti tank and anti personnel mines on the advance towards the post from Pakistan side when war had officially broken out on the 3rd of December 1971 Lonjewala post and the surrounding villages were subjected to massive Pakistani artillery shelling the first casualties were the camels of Lance Naik Bhairav Singh from the BSF 10 of the camels were dead the men took cover in their positions they had trenches they had bunkers they were prepped up for the fight at that time captain dharmveer with a platoon of 20 men had gone forward to see what the pakistanis were up to he didn't expect the shock of his life captain dharmveer reported to major kuldeep singh chandpuri at the lonjewala post that a huge amount of pakistani troops and tanks were coming forward towards the lonjewala post the pakistanis had actually decided to take jaisalmer the main objective was with two infantry brigades and two cavalry regiments armed with T59 tanks their plan was to use the 38th cavalry regiment T1 infantry brigade to crush through the defenders at Lonjewala meanwhile the Pakistani and the 206th infantry brigade 22nd cavalry regiment decided to take Jaisalmer after the fall of Lonjewala well they didn't know what they were going to face down here it was the guts of a lone company that would make them piss in their pants for an entire night as the pakistanis launched their assault on Lonjewala post the tanks went up from the anti tank mines laid around the post eventually the infantry started falling from the heavy machine gun fire that was laid down from the post at that time sepoy matra das he was manning the 106 mm rcl gun he started taking out the pakistani tanks one by one unfortunately one of the pakistani tanks laid down machine gun fire and wounded him individual acts of gallantry were happening all over the post major kuldeep singh chandpuri was leading the men in inspiring them and himself shooting back at the enemy sepoy bishan das at that time had destroyed a few pakistani tanks with his anti tank mines also subeda ratan singh one of the choshila jcos from the 23rd punjab regiment was with his platoon there he and his men marauded the pakistani attackers killing them with heavy machine gun fire and small arms fire subeda ratan singh was leading his platoon in the hell of those pakistani In the hell of the advancing Pakistani troops, Lonjewala post was not taking casualties compared to the Pakistanis, but unfortunately, it had two soldiers killed in action. One of them was Sepoy Jagjit Singh. He was manning a light machine gun himself, firing on the Pakistanis from inside a bunker and pinning them down. Unfortunately, his bunker was shelled by Pakistani tank fire. The, after the shell had hit, he managed to get out from the bunker and was openly firing at the Pakistanis with his LMG. That is when a tank shell was fired at him. and unfortunately he died from the explosion a company requested for air support from the 122 squadron but unfortunately the 122 squadrons couldn't fly for night missions they were equipped with hawker hunter aircrafts and hawker hunters couldn't fly at night hence a company themselves decided to stay there alone all by themselves and hold off the pakistanis those 2000 men and 45 pakistani tanks for that entire night that battle raged for 7 hours major atma and major ps sangha they were flying hal krishak aircrafts at that time 
these two pilots were observation pilots and when the Indian Air Force decided to come in for the help of A Company, they decided to guide the Hawker Hunters. On the first light of the 5th of December, Hawker Hunters under the command of Wing Commander MS Bawa took off and being guided by these two Hal Krishaks, they came in, they saw the Pakistani tanks and infantry and the raid held down upon them. Pakistani tanks were being blown up like firecrackers with A Company defenses holding them for an entire night and with the Indian Air Force coming in, the Pakistanis were utterly frustrated. They decided to call off the attack and started moving back. But by that time, the loss of the enemy was too much to bear. They had lost 36 tanks, 200 men, including other 100 vehicles. Yes, that was the loss they had encountered for that entire night and after the coming of the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force ravaged the tanks completely. They were no match for the Hawker Hunters. A Company was relieved by the 17 Rajputana rifles and by the AMX-13 tanks of the 20 Lancers. Most gallantry and leadership, Major Kuldeep Singh Chankuri, the commander of A Company, was awarded the Mahavir Chakra. Subedar Ratan Singh was awarded the Veer Chakra, with Sepoy Jagjit Singh being awarded the Veer Chakra posthumously. Lance Nayak Bhairav Singh was awarded the Sena Medal. Captain Dharambir had also rejoined A Company in the fighting and was inflicting massive casualties on the enemy. Captain Dharambir was awarded the mention in dispatches. And for such exceptional gallantry and defense of the Lonjiwala post, the 23rd Punjab Regiment was given the Battle Honor Lonjiwala and the Theatre Honor Sindh. And for the Pakistanis, they got the defeat they deserved. Hence, today I dedicate this video to the 23rd Punjab Regiment for their gallant defense of Lonjiwala post. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.